Yo, you know that that uh, I think this was originally a vine, actually. But you know that vine that was like, um, we're going on a trip to a place called Auschwitz. It is shower time. Little Jews die. You know that one? Was that a Vine or was that like a fucking YouTube thing? No, that was on YouTube as well. You know what I'm talking about, Zob, right? I do. Yeah, I can't find it anymore. Oh, yeah, gee, YouTube I took wonder down why. YouTube took down everything offensive, bro. I know. No, YouTube took down a lot of shit, bro. <sighs> it's insane. You, can, you, you used to find like dark humor on YouTube, man. You never find it. Like there's pedophiles in all the like Nintendo-related communities. Bro, there's actually, literally, I would argue that like, at least like forty percent of like popular streamers are pedophiles. That's the thing. Either 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 a community has a bunch of pedophiles, or they just haven't been found out yet. That's all yeah. there is to it. it. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. I said something like that, and then like a month later, all this like Smash Bros stuff happened, and all these pedophiles got exposed right after I said that. Yeah. I I called it. I predicted it. I just didn't record it. I wish I did. Etika killed himself because he was a child like, like a pedophile. No, Etika was actually like fucking mentally like. like yeah, he had he, was he had issues. Like mentally messed up. Like he would he would like do things in public that were like fucking like this guy's fucking mentally off. He was like he wasn't just depressed. He was like bipolar and all that stuff, bro. Afraz, what do you think is like the philosophical thing behind it? Like, what is the Afraz explanation for his like his behavior? Bro, you can't put me on the spot like that. No, I'm just curious. Like, what would you say? You're, you're not expected to give like a fucking... Do your best, bro. We, we, You know we'll respect anything you say. Yeah, I'm just curious. That's like, I'm not I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm more so asking like, what is your like... Like, what do you think is like the reason he was like, like that? Because like, there's a lot of like YouTubers and he's not like... He was famous, but he wasn't like OD famous. Maybe he had some like childhood shit. No, I'm pretty sure he was. Wasn't he OD famous? No, no, no. A lot he of times, was, like, he had a really, really hardcore, dedicated fan base. Like, I remember, okay, the thing is, I was also a, a really big Etika fan. And I remember, Zob, like, a few days ago, you were like, bro, why would anyone donate to streamers? Bro, I donated to Etika. Like, I literally, over the course of, like, three years, I donated, like, $40 to Etika. Just from, like, random YouTube money and stuff. Did you, like, notice it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do it because he would, like, notice it. I did it because, I don't know, I just had, like, I just felt compelled, like, damn, this dude's giving me so much entertainment. He's, like, such a great entertainment value, I just feel like throwing in a little donation, you know? Yeah, that's me with, like, Chief Keith, bro. I just buy all this shit. Like, yeah, it's like, it's, like, the same sort of thing. I felt compelled to, like, sort of give back like that. The thing is, what I think happened to him is because he wasn't always like that. I think... He kind of like gave him gave himself up for the content. He like really really pushed himself to like do like crazy crazy stuff, and like constantly be at like a hundred percent, um, and like, man, if you see like the the level of like energy that he has and like doing the most mundane things, it's like yeah, it's entertaining, but it's like the the level that he had. It's like he clearly a lot of it's it's not natural. It's not normal. He clearly gave up like like having any kind of a normal life for the sake of entertaining like there's no balance there there's no balance in that kind of life it's actually really confusing i can't assess i can't give a good assessment on etika because i'm really confused on what happened either uh, too like he seemed like a really like happy dude you know yeah he probably had some like allegations against him that he was like in black before no 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 no, no he was actually like fucking mentally ill bro oh, he was he yeah, got he got field. institutionalized, oh, put in like a mental hospital. Times. Yeah, yeah got, like, there he, was a time where I don't, I don't remember exactly what. They, yeah, no, they like, they like fucking had a bunch of people, like a bunch of like officers and shit, take him like to a mental hospital. Yeah, I was watching it live on his Instagram live. He was literally he was making doing content doing? out of it. Like the the SWAT team was like, come, he got swatted basically, but it was like kind of a SWAT and kind of not. Where people were trying to take him to like, um, like because he was like on suicide watch list basically and like people were coming to his door and they're like hey let's go, come on let's go let's go let's put you in this ambulance or whatever right yeah and he was there just like on instagram live making content out of them huh. Huh. yeah i remember that like he no, gave up his whole life for content i swear to god dude even on that day i was like i was thinking to myself like man i think i never got swatted now that i think of it 
And then I look online, I search Etika Swatted, and I'm looking, and it's like three minutes ago on YouTube uploaded. And I'm like, what the hell? And I look on his Instagram, and he's live. And I was watching that. It was so weird how that played out. Yeah. But didn't he, he like, didn't he, wasn't he him like walking to the bridge he jumped off of live as well? No, no, no. He, he recorded the YouTube video, like his like, basically walking to where he jumped off the uh, Brooklyn Bridge, I believe. Um, and he recorded the video like on the walk there, like talking about like, oh, damn, you know, I'm never going to get to see the end of Attack on Titan and things like that. You know, he said all that stuff. Oh, that's what he's thinking about, Attack on Titan? He was like, oh, I'm never going to get to finish these video games. I'm never going to get to watch these shows, you know. Um, Honestly, that's what mentality I killed myself. No, <laughs> and then, uh, uh, and that's what's so confusing. It's like, bro, you have things to look forward to. You got games to play on stream and all this stuff. And you got people that want to play these games with you. It was, it's really confusing. And then, um, and then he, he uploaded that, but he said it to schedule. So he said it to schedule like two days afterwards. So he killed himself. And like two days afterwards, the video went live on YouTube. It's, it's really confusing. The whole Etika situation is actually really confusing. Cause I never would have guessed that it like, like, even on the day that he killed himself, if somebody asked me, like, hey, do you think Etika would ever kill himself? I'd be like, no way. Not a chance. Really? But, hmm. And, dude, yeah, no, there's no way there was any dirt on him. The things that this dude would tell on stream, the things that he would talk about, about, like, him, you know, like, uh, when he was a kid, he would, like, go and, like, steal bikes from people and all this stuff. Like, he made money from, like, stealing bikes, basically, in the hood or whatever. Like, he would talk about everything. He made his entire life, like, the most open book you could possibly... Like, he was the most open book person I've ever seen in content, ever. So if he was a pedophile, he'd be talking about it. Yeah, yeah, straight up. If he was a pedophile, he'd be talking about it. No, I remember a thingy when, like, all the Pokemon pedophiles came. When did Etika kill himself? Etika killed himself in 2019, summer. Yeah, that was, like, right after all the Pokemon pedophile stuff came out. And he was, like... He actually had, like, beef with one of the, the dudes that got outed as a pedophile before. So, like, why'd he kill himself if his op became a pedophile? I'd be celebrating, bro. I'd be like, my biggest op is a pedophile. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, had, he had issues. He Not did a lot of really cool shit, though. He was actually mentally ill. He, he did a lot of really cool shit, though, and I really like his content. It's hard to figure out what's going on in him. Yeah, a guy like him, like, I would not be surprised. He's definitely mentally ill. Yeah. You know, he was the first person in the, in the United States to get a Nintendo Switch. Really? He was the first person. Actually, he was the Nintendo first person. He was the first person to get it like legally, where he got to the front of the line in in like New York, because Nintendo has a has a store in New York, and they did like the midnight release or whatever. It's like hella people standing outside in line. He like yeah. paid to go in the very front. It's like thousands of people, whatever. And that was like a big thing that he did. And he was so he was the first person in the states, second person in the world to get a Switch, but he also got it before any Japanese person too, because he got it illegally. He got like um, people at Nintendo like insiders to get him a switch before it even came out and so that was like really fun content to, like he was really about it and he would like really give like top quality content like he would do things bro i swear to god he would do things that no other streamer would do to this day i don't i can't imagine other streamers actually going on the dark web live wait he did that he did that he did that and wait. he got like twenty thousand views at like 3 a.m it was like because he had a view counter in the bottom left he would always do this thing where he would um this is a great idea, actually. I don't know why more streamers don't do this. Where they where they put their details there. So that way, like, VODs and clips and stuff like that, later on, people can, like, reference back and be like, oh, this is when it was. He'd have the date. He'd have the song that he was playing. All that stuff. Like, all the details on the bottom left. Like, under where his face was. And then um, his views went from, like, 3,000 to, like, almost 20,000 in, like, an hour. And it was happening at, like, 3 a.m. at, like, the worst possible time to get viewers. And he was just going on the dark web like scrolling through and like like going on like these like drug selling sites and these like escort sites and like they were all obviously fake they're all like you know just like scam websites trying to get people's bitcoin or whatever but he was actually doing it like risking the possibility that he might come across like child porn or whatever live showing the screen and everything i don't know any other streamer who would do that not a single one dude i know dude i'll be crazy if child porn came up yeah so <laughs> He he really he was really out here like providing like content that nobody else would. I enjoyed a lot of his content. That's good. I'm glad someone did at least. A lot of people, but he had like a cult, dude. It wasn't that he had like so many followers. It's just that his followers were like super super 
into his content. Like he deleted his channel, which had like 500K subs. And like usually when you reach like 500K, like the majority of those subs are going to be like empty subs. And if you like make a new channel, you delete it and you make a new one, you're only going to get like 100K at most. He deleted it, made a new channel. The next day he had all 500K back. Damn, so his his fan base was out here watching his content every day. Like they were in it. They were hardcore. He had a cult straight up. I'm surprised people still talk about him because he really wasn't that popular. I saw him trending today. What? How? I don't think I maybe I'm just I saw him trending like a few days or weeks ago because it was like the anniversary of his death. Maybe that's when I saw it. Yeah, that's that's the thing. It's like people I still occasionally hear people still talk about Etika. Like people like my brother who didn't even know who he was, and I'm like, how the hell are people still talking about him? Like nobody watched him. Like the most viewers he ever got was like 20, 25k, and that was like on his best like viral streams. Usually his streams would get like 5K. He's just like an average streamer, basically. Just an average dude. But everyone talks about him. 